Hi guys, it's me, Gwenny, back with another uh, video. So this one is going to be my planners for 2020. So this year, I am going to try and be better with my planners. Uh, last year, I sort of like, kind of fell behind on my planners. I didn't get a chance to fill my recollections vertical. My bullet journal is missing like months and months of stuff. And I had like a fake, kind of like a fake Hobonichi that I got mid, uh, I think around July or something like that. Like this one right here. I got this from um, Walmart. It's like the Exceed Planner. It's sort of like same style as the Hobonichi, but not not that expensive. So anyways, this year... So for my planners for 2020, I am going to try and do better with my bullet journal. So I got another Scribbles That Matter journal and also another hub, uh, Recollections Vertical, which I plan on hopefully being better at. And then I got my first real Hobonichi Weeks. So I decided to kind of like just film this video to show you um, how I've I plan on well, I'm probably going to be doing the same thing on all three planners, but um, anyways, I just wanted to show you. I've seen videos of other people showing their planners for 2020, and there's like a lot of them have like multiples, and I'm hoping I can keep up with just this three. So anyways, I also wanted to unbox my Hobo Weeks. This is the first time I'm ever getting a Hobonichi Weeks. And I'm excited to use it. Hopefully, um, I will like it. And I don't know. I'm excited to use it. So anyways, um, let's get to that one first. I'm going to unbox my Hobo Weeks first. And then I'm going to show you what I've done with my bullet journal and my um, recollections vertical so far. Okay. So this is the first time I've ordered a Hobo Nichi Weeks. I've seen the Hobo Weeks from other planners in the planner community on Facebook groups and stuff like that. I know a lot of shops have started carrying like um, Hobo Weeks kits and stuff like that. And I think if you're on a budget, you can get the Hobo Weeks uh, kits. The thing with it is the Hobo Nichi itself is not that cheap. This one was actually about almost 40 bucks. I'm I'm guessing I forgot how much I paid for it, but it's about it's about 40 plus shipping or something like that. Or it's about 30 I think it's like about 35 plus shipping cuz it comes uh straight from Japan. And the thing with it is I got this one on in uh I ordered it online and then I found out that my favorite stationery shop that's close to me actually started selling Hobo Weeks and I think I found this exact one at their shop and I was like oh man if I had known I would have waited I didn't I wouldn't have ordered it online and I would have just gone to their shop and got it from them but anyways so this is the first time I've ordered from this and I, I was like when I first got this one I did I thought it was like um, maybe it's gonna be like extra stuff, but no, it's just a huge box to contain two small items. So this is the first thing you see when you open the lid. There's a Japanese, uh, quote here, and I think this is the translation. It says, Once words were engraved on stones, once words were exchanged from mouth to mouth. I guess people could not help it because they were pre so precious. We all want to keep words alive. Safety matches fireplace chat. So I don't know if that's random, if that's the same thing every single time you order. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever ordered a Hobonichi week. Um, I had a fake one a while ago. And I really like the fake one. But I kind of wanted to try this one out this year. So it comes with this one bot, one carton. Another carton. And then piece of paper and then ta-da 
two small bitty items. This huge box for two small items. I mean, you couldn't have sent it on like a bubble mailer or something. I guess it's the, what do you call this? Most people that order uh, from the store actually gets more items. I don't know. But anyway, so I got like these two small items. It came with a free pen. I did not order the pen. So I'm guessing it comes free with purchase. And then, let me see if I can put my tripod so I can open this. So this is the pen that I got. It's, uh, I think it's a uni pen. So this is what it looks like. So it says uni on that side. And then, let me focus. Come on, camera, focus. There you go, Hobonichi Techo 2020. And it's got three colors, there's black, blue, and red. And then this is my weeks. So let me show you how the pen writes. I'll just grab a piece of paper. Of all the post-it notes I have, I don't have one handy. That's so weird. Find a post-it note. Post-it note, post-it note, where are you? Okay, found a post-it note. So I'm just gonna write on this paper. So I'm just gonna write, hello. 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 So I kind of, it's a little bit smooth to write with. I kind of like that and I'm guessing this pen is sort of like perfect for the paper um, I know they have like a special name for this paper that you use for this hobo weeks um, I don't want to butcher uh, I think it's, uh, I forgot what it is I should have researched it I just thought that I would try it out um, so anyways it comes with this kind of like booklet and I can't read Japanese, so I'm guessing it's a girl and she's like writing about happenings in her life in her diary. And she's really enjoying it. And stuff like that. And this is it. It's a bunch of instructions. Or what, like the different styles I'm guessing. So there's like the weeks, there's a mega weeks, there's a techo, there's an avec, there's a cousin. There's a lot of stuff. So it, it depends on what kind of notebook that you like. Um, there's a lot of choices for you. This is a, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a QR code for something. I can't read Japanese. So anyways, I got this one because of the cover. So if you haven't watched my videos before, um, if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I love penguins. If you haven't, then now you know I love penguins. Anything that has a penguin on it probably will get it. Um, so anyways, I wanted this because of the cover. I really like this one. And this is what it looks like when you open it. I've seen people sort of like cover all of this part with washi tape. Probably won't do that because I like my washi tape. And then there's the dates, so you have like three calendars, so this is 2019, which is the year before, 2020, which is the year now, and then 2021, which is the year after. And, um, I first, this is the first time I've opened this, but I've seen other people open it on their, um, videos and stuff, so this is like, I've seen somebody refer to as this style as a calendix, or something. Um, so that's the whole year of 2020, and then there's a calendar for December, and then it starts with January 20, uh, so December 2019, January 2020, and then it goes all the way to, let me see, all the way to February 2021, no, March 2021. Um, okay, 
It goes all the the calendar goes all the way to March 2021. And then this one, I guess I could have started it in November, but I did not. I should have. So like this is the last week of November and December 1st. And then um then there's the whole part of December. And then this is this is January. Now this is January right here. And a lot of people kind of like cover this bottom part with washi tape and then decorate this side right here and use this side. I still don't know how I'm going to use it, so I'm gonna, probably going to try and watch videos um, later on to uh, figure out what I'm going to do with this. So like it comes with, I you know it comes with two bookmarks, where is it? comes with two bookmarks so that's really really cool so you can leave one in the monthly and then the other one in the weekly that you're currently in and then I think there's some blank pages in the back they said yeah so it goes all the way to that's December it goes all the way to December uh, to the 1st of January the 3rd of January 2021 so that's kind of cool and then this is the blank pages so it's kind of like grid pages and then there's a bunch of other information on the back i don't know what this is oh i guess it's a i think this is like measurements and stuff um i guess i don't know why you would want to measure your hand span this span this span that's weird i don't know what that is for um there's some kind of writings on the back i don't know what that is maybe it's holidays um uh, my 100 i don't know what that is either and then there's a bunch of stuff i'm guessing this is a mini address book so if anybody important or something you put it over there and then that's it and then there's uh this one is information about the illustrator of the techo so that's kind of cool look at the penguin it's so cute so I'm guessing it's the illustration in this stuff. Oh, and it comes with a little pocket. So you can put like a pocket. I don't know where you, most people put their pockets, but you can. I guess you can put a in, pocket inside and then you can just store your stickers in there. That's sort of cool. So that is my Hobo, Hobo Weeks for 2020. I'll show you a page out of the fake one that I got. So like if you're looking for um if you're looking for a cheaper alternative um this one i got from walmart so this is the what you call it the exceed planner So this is the Exceed Planner. So it's kind of has like a, you, you have different colors and all that stuff. I'll show you the comparison between, the the weeks is way, way smaller than this one. But it's nice that it's kind of small, so it's it, it'll fit like any kind of purse I can bring. And um, so it's kind of like a little bit smaller than that and a little bit thinner. Um, but like this planner that I got from from Walmart has like a bunch of cool stuff. It's got, I think this started around, uh, it's a July start all the way until, because it's an academic one. Um, but like this is what the inside looks like. So like the Hobo Weeks, the days are the same, Monday to Sunday on the side, and then this one... Compared to the Hobo Weeks, which is like grid paper, this is dot grid paper. 
so you can kind of like see that it's dot grid so but um i kind of just wanted to try the weeks i'm not sure if i'm gonna do it again next year but we'll see how it works out for this year so anyway so like this is my um what do you call this my fake hobo i call it my fake hobo anyway so that's my hobo weeks so let's get to the next planner that i will show you and i'll see you in the next clip Okay, so I've shown you my hobo weeks. So I'm showing you this time my bullet journal. So I'm using the Scribbles That Matter. Um, I think it's an A5 dot grid notebook. I used the same one as the purple one last year, or at least the second half of last year. So this was my purple one. And I just have a Coffee Monsters Co. Um, vinyl. I really love the emojis. So I kind of, uh, like when I first put this vinyl on this journal, I forgot about like the strap. So now I put the vinyl for my 2020 bullet journal in the middle so that when I put the strap on, it's not going to hit the strap. So I just have another emoji vinyl on the front. And I had some kind of like silver stickers for 2020. Um, so I'll just show you like a brief overview of what I did with my journal. So I have one of the Coffee Monsters Co. Pockets and I have some kind of like small stickers here. This is not going to be the final stickers by the way. I just put them here for now. But I have some stickers from um, random shops. Actually this one I got from a Happy Mail, the coffee stickers. Um, this one is from a friend of mine that had her own shop in, um, what do you call this? I had a swap with her and I like her sticker, so I ordered more from her. So this is the Sticky Bunny. And then this is the Coffee Monsters Co. Like my Mimoti stickers. So I just put them there for now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see like a different system on, um what stickers I can put in this thing. But anyways, there's my name at the front. And it says, um, I'm starting in January, 2020. Let me see if I can zoom out a bit so you can sort of see it. Okay, so there's the key. I don't normally use the key. And then I don't have anything on my um, things yet on my index, but this is my cover page for 2020. I'm still trying to think of a good quote to put at uh, in here on this side. Oh, you can kind of see my messy desk a little bit. Let me move this a little bit. Anyways, um, so that's my 2020 cover. And then this is the grid guide. I got this um, idea from Amanda Rachley in one of her videos. And then I left the goals in the social media blank first. I will write my stuff in later on after I finish filming. And then I just have the... Um, this is my year at a glance. I know some people put like the whole calendar or at least like um, they can fit like the whole year in two pages but I like it this way I had it uh, set up this way in my last bullet journal and then I got this idea from I think Helen during one of her plan with me or bullet journal setups where she put her um emojis like the holiday emojis and put them in for um each month so I got um the emojis and then these stickers are just from the happy, um, what do you call this? The happy planner sticker books. So I just have the holidays for now and some events. I'm going to write down the birthdays of my friends after. And then, um, so I have like, um, pixel spending edition. I'm, at least I'm trying to keep track of it. So far, I've missed at least a few days. But um, 
I don't keep track of my emotions because half the time I don't normally know like when do I track my emotion at the end of the day before the end of the day or something and I do a lot of like back planning so I can't remember what emotion I had that day so I just try to do the spending edition because this would be easier for me to do um whatchamacallit since I can keep track of the receipts and stuff and then on this page is just my health log um forgot to put uh what do you call this sticky note to cover up um when my next appointment would be and all that stuff but I just keep track of my weight I plan on keeping track of my um medicines and all that stuff on this part so I'm just gonna have to skip that And then on this page, I have my 2020 Goodreads challenge. So last year I did, my goal was 100 books. I was only 80, 84, 85 books. So I decided to lower my goal for this year. So my goal for this year is 90. And um, I really like the tracker that I put on there. So when I uh, finish a book, I will put the title of the book. The author's name and what date I started and when I finished it and then on this one I'll kind of like put a drawing of a book and then I will color it on what rating I give it on Goodreads so I can't wait to um, do that so I kind of put like a few pages I'm not sure if I'm gonna reach my goal of 90 um, since I started sort of YouTube, I don't have as much time to read anymore between games, dramas, trying to be a responsible adult sometimes, um, and um, reading and YouTube, I sort of kind of lose a little bit more time. And then I decided to keep track of my, um, I'm on two book clubs. There's two book clubs that I go to. There's Paranormal Book Club and then After Austin Book Club. So I decided to write down the titles of the books that um, we read for that month. So by the time you watch this video, I've already done the Paranormal Book Club because it's earlier in the, in the month. So we read uh, Watchers by Dean Koontz. Uh, I kind of liked it. I still haven't read this one yet, A Darcy Christmas uh, for the After Austin Book Club. So I just wrote it down there and then... I don't know what I'm going to do with these pages yet, so I kind of left it blank. And then I really wanted to show off my cover page. So this is my cover page. I think in all my, um, my bullet journals, my January cover page is usually the one that doesn't really have a theme. Because it's uh, January is my birthday month, and I kind of like... Um, putting in all the stuff that I really like. So, um, this is my January cover page for 2020. So I really love, um, I couldn't think of a sing single quote other than a line from my favorite things from, um, what is that movie? Uh, Sound of Music. So it says, I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. So this picture is actually like a bunch of my favorite things. So you can kind of see um, penguins because I love penguins. Um, there's uh, books because I love to read. Animal Crossing, which is my favorite game. Nintendo Switch. I like cats, but I can't have them. I love Disney princesses. I love Big Bang, K-pop. There's a memory of me and my husband. Washi tapes and the laptop because I'm addicted to social media. So that is my January cover page. So I have um, this one is from the One Ton in a Million collaboration um, sticker book. The one that came out not too long ago. So I thought I'd use it for here. And then I'll just show you like. Um, so I still don't know what I'm going to do with this one. I tried Habit Tracker a while ago, 
but for some reason I did not really do much with it so I'm still not sure what I'm gonna put on here but I did put my January stars again so January stars um, I've been I used to kind of make these paper stars where I write down any book that I read if I bought any new games if um, I went to any event or um, any dramas I finished, movies I finished, anything that I sort of like feel like I accomplished doing or something that made me happy, I would write it down, put it in a, the strip of paper and make paper stars with it. So I decided I'm going to try and do that this year. So any books that I finished, any dramas, Asian dramas that I finished, um, if I buy any K-pop CDs, it's all going to go on this area. So that's my January stars. And then this is just a typical weekly of my um, weekly spread. So I don't do um, others that have like, what do you call this? They have a pre pre pre-made spread I kind of like just bullet journal as I go so I don't have any pre-made spreads but this is like a constant I would have like a weekly page where it kind of shows like um what I had for dinner and all that stuff anything that I had to do on this side and then if I had anything um for the next week and then this is just like a regular page um I will try and vary this part right here the way I write the dates I just decided to go like um a simple page um for now so I just have like random pictures and all that stuff and this is my birthday page so I kind of um gather all the greetings that I get um on Facebook and then just write them down um so, there's a few names there, but you don't know who they are. But anyways, um, so I kind of write their names, and then um, I color code them on, like, if I met them online and all that stuff. I don't know. I just like keeping track of that one. And uh, that's just a picture of me and my husband. I plan on putting, printing up more pictures for here. And then that's it. That's my bullet journal. Um hopefully I will keep track of it and then let's go to the next journal okay so the next thing I have this is my um, recollections vertical planner so I've been using recollections vertical this is like my second year of using one I didn't really like the covers they had but um, I didn't have much choice when I was buying this it was like on sale and they didn't have much selection so I just decided to go for this one maybe I'll see if I can find a different cover for it or I don't I don't really mind anyways um, but this is the recollections vertical planner so um, I don't have anything on it I just kind of like this is my memory keeping back plan type of deal but anyway, so this is what it looks like. If you haven't seen the uh, Recollections Vertical, then I'll just do a quick flip through of this one. So this is sort of my cheap alternative for an Erin Condren. Uh, I got this planner from Michaels for, I think, $10 during Black Friday. And sometimes they'll have it on sale for like half off. And it would still be like, because originally the price of a vertical planner is about 30. So even if it's like 50% off, 40% off, it's still less than what you would pay for an Erin Condren. And I just can't see myself kind of like splurging for an Erin Condren. So I just keep getting this. And they sort of fit, the, the half boxes sort of fit. I mean, the full boxes sort of fit on the, the boxes for the, the, Ugh, so, sorry. The the kits that normally goes for Erin Condren normally fits on um, rec Recollections Vertical. Maybe it's a little bit longer. I don't know. 
But anyway, so this is the cover. So I haven't done anything to this part or anything on this part. Um, but it comes with stickers, so you can kind of like see stickers here. And then there's some functional stickers, some emojis. And then this is kind of like a, a pocket folder. Yep, yeah, it's a pocket. And then this is the first cover page. So I sort of like just do this for memory keeping. So it's still sort of blank. So this is my first spread for January. Um, I had used a, a kit from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I don't I haven't filled it out yet. But um, as you can see, I love emojis. I, I was thinking of like getting the New Year's kit from Coffee Monsters Co. But then I was like thinking it was it would take like a long time. And I was planning on using the emojis anyway, so I just decided to just use the emoji kit that I got. Plus it kind of had like a emoji with a cake. So I used that for my birthday. So I haven't filled one out. And then it's still in progress. And then this one is a kit from River Street Stickers. I haven't done anything to it yet. Like I said, this is mostly for memory planning and I don't have anything for the rest of January, but I'll just show you a quick flip through of what each month looks like. So this is February. So it just has a different color. And then March. So um, sometimes some of them will have like quotes and stuff like that. It just depends. Or like this one has make it happen. So it's different colors for different months. Here's May. And then June. Excuse my messy desk. Here's July. Um, August. So it's just repeating now. September. October, November, and December. And then at the end, I think there's a notes page. So you can write a notes. So um, the, what do you call this? So that is my, my planners for 2020. Um, I only plan on bringing like my hobo weeks and my bullet journal maybe with me when I go out but this one stays on my desk because this is really chunky and I don't want to lose it um anyway so that's it Oop, you saw my messy desk and I know it sort of like looks weird but I am in the process of kind of like moving my desk area to um, a different table that's why it's sort of messy and anyways I just wanted to kind of like film this video um, just to show like what planners I really like watching other people show what their planners are gonna be using for the year so I wanted to show this one and thank you so much for watching if there's any other videos that you would like to see leave me in the comment section below and I will hit you back with another probably haul video again. I still have like a lot more stuff that I need to haul. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!